in prior that uh, in last class we were discussing about uh, uh, principle of counting so in that principle of counting we left one thing that uh, when uh, uh, sample happens to be unordered and uh, uh, there repetition so that one is very complicated kind of situation how to count number of samples so that one is very much essential that we will discuss in today's class after that we will uh, start uh, conditional probability so coming to the outline of today's lecture uh, first, I would like to give a recap of the uh, counting principle. So, in last lecture, you had already seen there are various ways to perform principle of uh, sampling uh, or uh, in that process, we have come up with the principle of counting. So, uh, what we do? So, in the process of uh, sampling, we focus on few things. So, what are those things? So, we focus on order of the uh, element. So what is the order, where order is material or not. Then we focus on where there is a repetition is no, where, where there is a replacement or not. A repetition is uh, whether there is a rep uh, re repetition or not. So or simply we can call it that replacement. So those things we had de defined and we are just counting number of samples. So that means uh, uh, there was a collection of object uh, and uh, number of collection of object uh, okay so simply we are, we are writing cardinality of that collection of object or population size n and we come up with sample of size k so that one was the question in sampling we come up with sample of size k or simply we can call it k sample k sample okay so we focus on two things order and replacement Okay, so suppose what would be number of sample? I am here counting number of total sample. So generally, number of sample we denoted by has number of samples of size k. Number of k sample better, better call it k sample being a sample of size k. Okay, suppose uh, order is there but no replacement. Order is there but no replacement. What would be number of uh, K sample? Anyone? Recall from previous class. That means you are having K box and you, you have to uh, fill this K box with n number of uh, object uh, without uh, repetition or without replacement but order is matter there so how uh, in how many way you can fill up anyone in last class we discuss it a lot anyone just try to recall it npk that you are talking about permutation so better count uh, number what could be explicit formula? What could be this one? N factorial by N minus. So this would be actual counting. So you should write uh, in the numerical fashion. What does it? NPK is just a notation of this one. Okay. Now suppose uh, um, order is uh, matter. Also re replacement is also matter. We are putting there is a replacement a replacement of each uh, draw. Then what would be counting? What would be number of k samples? Anyone? When order and replacement both men uh, both are there. Anyone just try to answer it. Just see the box again. I have taken k box. Uh, uh, n to the power k. That means k boxes, each box is having k number of, okay, in k ways we can fill up each box. So that way n to the power k. Suppose order is not uh, mentioned, but uh, uh, what we do, 
uh, there is a replacement what would be this n to the power okay prior to prior to that what you do uh, order uh, you come up with uh, so okay yeah n to the power k factorial how to describe this word how it is happening it is totally wrong we haven't discussed this we'll discuss here if, if we don't know order there is no order also there is no replacement anyone may come up uh, with idea of that don't relate with uh, this fourth case it's just uh, uh, i have taken um, four case here so there is no order there is no replacement what would be number of count number of sample anyone yeah that is combination that you are talking about combination you are choosing k element at a time from out of n element n choose k simply you say that so simply numerically you will say that factorial n divided by factorial k into factorial n minus k so uh, everyone feel very much comfortable regarding one regarding two this one is two regarding call it three but no one is comfortable with four no one is comfortable with four definitely it is a wrong result it is not like that uh, definitely there is a relation between uh, this these two there is a relation between these two how huh? that uh, among the permutation there would be various uh, um, if you are taking uh, various combination is possible that means order if you forget the order then uh, what you do just you are truncating out uh, like uh, one two is there two one so here what uh, one two and two one in permutation both are different but if you talk about in combination sense both are same so you are just trying trying to uh, remove out uh, one of the uh, one two or two one so that that's where combination is just directly coming from permutation by truncating out the repeated one okay so how we do that that we do by dividing by factorial key so that's where uh, there is a relation between these two these two principle of counting but if you talk about uh, this uh, coin uh, this process when uh, there is no order also replacement is there yes oh okay in that yeah that one is those are simple thing you can correct it okay it is fine you you are familiar with uh, these three from your uh, plus two even fourth also you are familiar with most important part is this one and this one how we can understand this one and apart from that there is one more important how we can generalize this one to multinomial situation so those two things we will discuss in detail here and after we will start conditional probability one we this one we are saying that binomial situation that means uh, if you are having uh, bernoulli trial bernoulli trial and you perform that bernoulli trial n times then you are getting uh, what you are in in that uh, n trial you are getting uh, suppose you are having k number of success then if there are k number of success then uh, definitely at the same time there would be n minus k number of failure so that bernoulli trial in uh, 
if you take in n times then you are getting a binomial situation that always bring a partition uh, of uh, that all those outcome in two category one failure another success that means k number of if, if there are k number of success at the same time you can say that it means there are k number of failures so that's why mck we we are generally talking about what does it it is having a specific name it is talking about binomial coefficient binomial another name of mck we call it binomial coefficient so what is the generalization of, bi of binomial coefficient we call it multinomial coefficient so that also we will discuss and afterwards we will go to discuss about this situation binomial coefficient so also you can call it like this way because it is talking about two situations success or failure number of success number of failure in total of n trial okay uh, so coming to that uh, uh, last case that where first we have to go for um, binomial to multinomial how why we are going to that so in that process uh, in last class we had already discussed that uh, there are various uh, experiment in which you can observe more than two trials more than two outcome in a single trial you can observe more than two outcomes so like if you are rolling a dice then there would be six outcome and there would be six possible outcome with respect to a single trial there okay so that's where six possibility possibility would be there or six outcome so uh, with respect to that if you try to find uh, uh, in number of trial what would be uh, situation there it is not like that only failure and success there would be various uh, groups there would be various group uh, only not for failure group and success group various group would be there six group would be there in where if you uh, roll a dice uh, various time like n times so in that situation we are saying that if you are having an experiment which is having only two outcome with respect to each trial or each experiment then uh, such kind of trial we are calling it bernoulli trial like tossing a coin then you will get either head or tail or you are, if you uh, take a experiment like this one failure or success then you will get only two trial okay in a only two possible possible outcome in a single trial that would fall in bernoulli then there is another one multi uh, what uh, bernoulli multi nolly that one is a just uh, it is a misconception you can say that uh, multi it is just taken from bernoulli multi nolly then uh, when if there there are more than two possible outcome with respect to a single experiment or single trial that then that such kind of trial we are calling it multi multi nolly or categorical trial so just we will understand these two so in a single bernoulli trial such as tossing a coin there are only two possible outcome either head or tail or failure or success so if you take a sequence of such n trials that will divide outcome into two group so one group that we are calling it a that would contain successes k number of successes at the same time there would be another group b that would contains uh, n minus k times failure so k successes are falling in group a n minus k failure falling in group b so that is the situation in bernoulli trial if you perform n uh, n times if you okay that means uh, in n trial uh, there are two division a uh, single partition of the n uh, n1 plus n2 n1 is talking about k and n1 that means success and n2 is talking about failure so only one partition is possible for uh, this n in that in that case okay and in how many ways we will see this this will happen n choose k ways so this would be total number of uh, that is sample of size to what we call it uh, in this possible way it will happen uh, that means uh, you can uh, say that uh, uh, this partitioning is happening into in this n by k way okay now another situation is coming that if you are having a multi nolly trial that means if you are uh, such as a rolling a dice so there would be more than two possible outcome with respect to each trial so if you take a sequence of such n trial then that will divide the outcome into 
more than two groups that means simply we say that r number of group and with possible so with a possible uh, partition of n so here again we are talking about partition of n how much uh, you understand partition of a, uh, a natural number n here n is a natural number it is counting number of trials so anyone know about partition of a natural number have you heard the word partition anyone anyone may just recall do you know partition or not what is meaning of partition like if i ask what is the part possible partition of 3 anyone what are the possible part yes call in proper uh, operation like one would be 1 plus 2 another would be 1 plus so we do partition of 3 in the in, in 3 is an integer and we do partition in integer itself we are not changing the uh, uh, domain of uh, numbers from where it came 1 plus uh, uh, okay so 1 plus 2 plus 0 also you can bring it like this way 0 would come so and 1 plus 0 plus 2 various options would be there so these are the partitions if you include 0 as well all these are the partitions yeah uh, natural number if you are confined up to natural number then you will see that uh, uh, zero is not coming in natural number so you don't have to include zero there zero is not that term but if you just confine to integers when you are counting uh, doing partition of natural number then zero would not come but uh, what is happening that when you are uh, doing partition of uh, here during the counting process zero is also coming there that means uh, no output is there there is no output what does it mean it simply says that uh, no that means one particular output to uh, outcome we are not getting then uh, what is situation that uh, for that uh, count is zero so zero will also come there so talk about also zero as well so we will talk in non negative integer so only okay in that so one example here i am taking it so if you are rolling a dice 18 times so one possible partition of 18 would be 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 that means one is coming three times one possible it is one possible partition there would be various possible partition what are those various possible partition uh, we have to find out so these are the possible uh, uh, then one possible partition then what will happens uh, further what will we will see that uh, there is an order if we can change uh, so here uh, right now we are saying that one is coming three times here two is coming three times three is coming three times four is coming three times five five is coming three times okay six is coming three times so that we told uh, one possible partition uh, but this one possible partition leads to various uh, various uh, rearrangement or arrangement or permutation what are those permutation how we can count those things what are those so there are various way it is not like that so what are the possible number of way it will happens this ordering we can play with this order in how many ways we can play in these number of ways these number of ways so there are various ways to come up with uh, exactly three uh, exactly three each of one exactly three each of one face uh, each of uh, face exactly three times in how many ways in this this number of ways it may come so there are various arrangement what we call it various arrangement would be there so here it is definitely a very long way and here what we call it here we call it it is a multinomial situation it is a multinomial coefficient why uh, we just uh, what we did we had 
n number of experiment in n in n if you talk about a single experiment what are the possibility in a single experiment there are six possibility either you will get one or you will get two or you will get three or you will get four or you will get five or you will get six six possibility there are six possibility but if you if you perform this uh, single experiment 18 times then uh, you are talking about uh, partition of 18 in in such a way how many times one is coming you say that it is coming three times how many times two is coming you are saying that it is three times how many times uh, three is coming you are saying that it is coming three times here in this particular event uh, we are coming uh, four is coming three times uh, five is coming three times again you have to talk about arrangement so what are the possible arrangement you will talk so it will happens in this way, number of ways so you can say that it is n1 n1 is equal to 3 n2 is equal to 3 n3 is equal to 3 n4 like n6 equal to 6 so this one is one partition of 18 that happens in this way what are the other partition of 18 anyone anyone may comment over that what are other partition of 18 one would be 6 plus yeah some always it would be one okay six plus zero six plus zero six plus zero six plus zero so you can observe that you can say that one is coming six time two is coming zero time three is coming six time four is coming zero time five is coming six time six is coming zero time so you can say that n1 equal to zero n2 equal to n1 equal to 6 n2 equal to 0 n3 equal to 6 n4 equal to 0 n5 equal to 6 n6 equal to 0 so again with respect to that uh, how many ways this we will get it we will get it again here multinomial way factorial 8 divided by factorial 6 what is value of factorial 0 anyone yeah very nice so it won't affect if you are bringing factorial 0 in denominator so so these things will come so these are the possible ways if someone is coming with uh, uh, another partition of 18 then you will get another number of sample number of samples uh, uh, that sample that sample would be different from the this sample okay so another number of total number of samples uh, that kind of sample okay with uh, 6 uh, uh, 1 0 2 6 3 0 4 6 uh, uh, 5 0 7 so this number of sample of uh, that particular sample would we will have due to that permutation permutation uh, you are uh, that arrangement permutation is very much related with arrangement you can within that you can perform arrangement what are the possible arrangement okay so these are the what we call it multinomial coefficient uh, it has been generalized from um, binomial so it is very much essential in the principle of counting what i told that another thing is coming that uh, just i told when you take an ordered uh, unordered sampling and you also allow replacement in that case how we can count uh, total number of sample of size k that has been drawn from an object so what is the so anyone till now do you have idea in last class i had discussed in a very because there was a uh, little bit time concern so that's why i had discussed in, in very short time so here again i would like to discuss this so what is happening that if uh, someone is saying that uh, you have to perform sampling which is would be which would which would be what in that fashion there would be no order also there would be replacement as well so here question is coming like this way it is sim similar to say that how many ways we to add up n numbers equal to k that means you are taking n number and adding an addition is equal to k 
n numbers that means starting from 1 to n and it simply say that uh, you are performing k choices from a set of n possibilities with replacement and order is not matter same question so that means you are selecting k object from n number of object with re replacement and uh, without order so that is the question how we can do that so i will take a simple example yes Then uh, what would be total number of samples? That uh, that that is the my question. That is my question. So I am talking about what is the total number of sample of size k from n when you uh, allow replacement and there is no order. You are just relaxing order. So that is the total count. What is the total count? So total count. We can take a very simple example here. I am taking. Suppose uh, uh, here question is coming like this way. How many ways uh, Ram, Syam, Mohan can split? Five rupees. So just you have given five rupees to these three people, and asking them uh, just divide yourself. That means you are trying to divide five among three. So how you can perform this one? Very simple question here. Yeah. So here uh, just see the things how it is happening. Here we think of five rupees as five stars. This is a five star considered like this way. Now next, what we do here? One situation we can take it like this way. Suppose Ram is getting two rupees, Sam is getting one rupees, and Mohan is getting uh, two rupees. That means what? What we do? We perform partition of five. We are performing partition of five, and uh, this uh, in the process of uh, this uh, splitting or partition, both are having same meaning. And then uh, in the process of uh, splitting five. What does it mean? In this first split, what we we can observe it like this way: we are having five star, and uh, among the five star, we come up with two horizontal line or two bars, which uh, has been sub, which introduced between uh, between those these five star. In such a way, uh, we say that uh, these two falls for Ram, and this one is falls for. Sam and this one is for Mohan. So just uh, uh, a splitting five rupees among these three boys is equivalent to what introducing two bar within a five star smartly. So uh, that uh, that is the concept what we do here. So suppose you come up with another split that Ram is getting zero uh, rupees, Sam is getting one rupees, and Mohan is getting four rupees. What does it mean? What does it mean? It says that we introduce again two bar within these five star how we come up with like first we put one bar before that there is no star because ram is getting no zero rupees so that's and now after that sam is getting one rupees that's why we are putting one bar here so this one is related with sam and rest four rupees will go to mohan so anyhow if you do any split of five among three what you do uh, in that uh, any split of five, we, you always come up with two vertical bars. Two vertical bars. So that is the question. So if you try to count total number of uh, uh, splitting or total number of these samples, uh, samples, so what would be answer here? So it just question has been uh, just uh, changed. Question has been changed to one equivalent question that you come up with uh, what idea? Uh, that means uh, uh, you are having seven places, five star including two bar, okay, in which you have to place those two bar. In uh, among those seven places, uh, you are just focusing on uh, the bar. So there are five star plus 
to that bar vertical bar so you just uh, either look for uh, uh, location of uh, that means simply you can say that there are seven vacant positions and among those seven vacant position uh, smartly you have to fill up a star and uh, five a star and two bar that means so uh, so it is very much equivalent to we know that uh, seven seven choose two that means seven c two it would be just equal equivalent to what anyone would like to answer what is seven c two the seven choose five so that's where either you focus on location of a star or you focus on location of bar both are equivalent so these number of possible way in way you can split five rupees among these three boys these number of possible way so here order is not matter replacement is there so that is the how we can generalize this result so before that i would like to talk about one important concept of principle of counting is that here each split is equivalent to say that it imply there is a sequence of stars and bars there is a sequence now. sequence i am talking about sequence that's me order is matter there is a sequence of uh, a stars and bar and each sequence of a star or bars if you are taking it implies again yeah, a, a split of the given rupees okay so simply it is a by implication so simply we can say if it is a by implication that means there is a bijectiveness bi if there is a bijectiveness a bijection then what we say how much count uh, you observe here it, it, it would be equal to how much count you observe in the sequence so that is the property of countability what i had already dis discussed that okay Bijek there is a principle of that bijection so uh, in the same way i would like to say that uh, here question was uh, how many different five star uh, question would be converted into how many different five star uh, and two bars will be what uh, uh, there would be a proper uh, what we call it arrangement of uh, five stars and two bars so say, uh, what are those how we can how many five a star and two bars how uh, how many are there so we can say that actually there are seven position in which uh, we have to bring two bars in the seven places we have to bring two bars then rest of five would go to a star so in how many way it will go it will happen seven choose two that would would be equivalent to seven choose five okay so that is the so in seven choose seven uh, choose two ways we can split five rupees among three people so that is that so how we can generalize this one to uh, k choices and n possibilities n possible possibility of number so here simply we can say that uh, k, k that means uh, uh, we say that uh, there are k stars okay and uh, in k star we try to uh, come up with uh, what we do uh, to try to come up with n minus uh, one bars uh, we are putting just one minus r n bar so in how many way it will happens it will happens uh, in this way that means we are having n plus k minus one positions in which either you come just focus on the position of a star uh, how you just uh, uh, choosing uh, a star uh, uh, you are putting a star in n plus k minus one position or you focus on bar so suppose you are focusing on that uh, bar then uh, among n plus k minus one position you are uh, putting n minus 1 bar in uh, what n plus k minus 1 choose n minus 1 which this one and if you apply principle of that combination then it is just equivalent to this so this is the better definition so uh, that's why we uh, we are saying this is the uh, count total count worry what we are getting in the process of unordered sampling with replacement definitely there are various explanation but you will find this one is more reliable reliable one i have come up with other as well but unordered sampling
विदाउट ऑर्डर विथ रिप्लेसमेंट अन आइडेंटिकल यूर टॉकिंग अबाउट रिमेम्बर दैट वेन यू इंट्रोड्यूस रिप्लेसमेंट देन डेफिनेटली वॉट यू डू आइडेंटिकल एलिमेंट विल कम रिप्लेसमेंट इज जस्ट अलॉन्ग आइडेंटिकल एलिमेंट सो आइडेंटिकल एलिमेंट विल कम इट सेल्फ रिप्लेसमेंट इज देयर वट डज इट मीन आइडेंटिकल एलिमेंट आर देयर दैट दैट वुड बी वेरी कॉम्प्लिकेटेड सिचुएशन Okay. Uh, right now, just uh, we are focusing on uh, simple situation. Re when we say replacement, uh, then uh, replacement means uh, anyone may replace. Replaced anyone, anyone. One rupees, two rupees, three rupees. What you take, uh, anyone may replace there and four rupees. So that that situation we are taking. If you go something something more than that complicated situation, there is another branch of that that we won't discuss here. That would be more complicated. So uh, it is that one is a very interesting part of. Uh, combinatorial optimization so that will come later it is not part of right now that one is a complicated situation okay so if you are uh, interested in that uh, that would come later okay okay uh, even uh, if you talk about uh, that uh, combinatorial optimization uh, uh, that that would be very complicated very uh, as much as constant you want to put uh, uh, you can put there there is no issue and algorithmically you, can, you will be able to solve but here we are talking about definitely uh, identical situation would come here due to replacement it is replacement is the source of ident uh, identical situation so that's why we are just focusing on that that is the constant here okay so we are going to dis discuss further about conditional probability what is conditional probability as i told that uh, till now we had already discussed about probability of an event so uh, through that algorithmic approach we come up with uh, probability of event as a ratio of uh, in case of discrete generally in case of discrete uh, probability we come up with ratio that uh, outcomes number of outcomes we what we observe in event a and we divide that number by all possible outcome associated with the experiment so we just zoom out the event and we look for the outcome what are the outcomes there in event a and we count all those outcome after that we divide that count with all possible outcome is related with the experiment and that all possible outcome where those are those are in sample space so generally we see that all possible outcome in where it is in sample space so that we had already seen in discrete probability we had seen this is the definition for discrete probability so first we will see for discrete then we will generalize it further so here what situation is here coming here we are we are introducing conditioning and that conditioning is coming through some partial information it is coming through some partial information about a particular event would be given uh, for which we are going to calculate probability for, uh, for that so there would be some kind of partial information due to that we introduce conditioning okay we are introducing conditioning so situation is coming like this way conditional probability it provide us with a way to reason about the outcome of an experiment based on some partial information so here there would be some example of such partial information situation it would be so like uh, if you are having an experiment that involves two successive roll or also a dice then you are told that some of the two Roll is nine. Okay, then you have to uh, calculate how likely is that the first roll was six. Here you are going to calculate. This is your event, event of interest, and you are having information. What is the partial information? 
and this is the uh, smartly uh, you have to identify what is the parcel information what is the parcel information you have you are told that two row some of two rows are sum of two rows is nine so that is the parcel information that is you can call it b then what you have to calculate here anyone parcel information is the what it is b so here you have to calculate probability of a given b if you simply i am asking what is the probability of a anyone would like to answer what is the probability of a who would like to answer that means first roll was a 6 then what is the probability of a a is talking about what kind of outcome look into a a contains what kind of outcome anyone first roll is 6 then second roll may be anything from 1 to 6 so there are six possibilities there are six outcome in a 61 62 63 64 6, 6, likewise 66 uh, so in total six outcome you will observe within a so if you try to calculate probability of a what would be the probability of a anyone yeah very nice it is 1 by 6 now i am asking now once you someone has given a parcel information about this that sum of two or roll is 9 9 then definitely we put condition so what will happen in that situation we don't have to look completely uh, on this sample space within the sample space just we have to uh, look for the information provided to us that information is b so what is b what kind of uh, element b contains so, and in b we have to look how much a is happening what are the element in b anyone start uh, from order property so that you can uh, easily put all the element in a proper way uh, so first would be 1 5 sum is 9 okay sorry oh uh, thank so sum is 9 so focus uh, first would be uh, 3 6 it is very much essential to just uh, then next would be 4 5 then 54 any other do you see any other so how many you observe 1 2 3 4 four outcome you observe in p so this is the partial information tell me how much of a is happening within b how many outcome of a you see in this one so what would be probability of a given b it would be 1 by 4 right it's yeah so it easily you can calculate you don't need to apply the all the complicated formula just you have to look what is the partial information or what is the conditioning that partial information we are calling it conditioning within that partial information try to look for the event how, uh, how much that event is happening within b so your new sample space would be the condition event b is the condition event this is your new sample space so your sample space has been changed in the process of defining conditional probability sample space this one is your new sample space you you are not trying to look into actual sample space omega you just try to look into partial information and you try to see how much of a is happening in b that is the that will define the pro conditional probability that is the approach so that that's why it is really interesting conditional probability is giving more explicit idea something more than probability 
uh, that it is just uh, really interesting you will see a lot so again one question is coming that and the next situation is coming so in a word guessing the first letter of word is t what is the likelihood that second letter is an h so you are playing a word guessing game the first letter is t what is the likelihood that the second letter is a so you can same way you can say that uh, this is your partial information you name it b and this is your event a and here you have to calculate probability of a given b you just you can try as a homework yourself okay it is already above time so i i think everyone might be aware of